Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Anybody that's new to the channel, my name is Chris, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about Sundial Growers, ticker symbol SNDL. Now, this company is a penny stock because right now it's trading around $1.10, but this company in the past five trading days has gained over 110% in shareholder value. This company is in the cannabis industry, and as we all know, the cannabis industry is still a growing industry, but this company has the potential to probably be top three, if not top two company out there in the cannabis industry. So in this video, I kind of want to go over some financials of this company, why this company has been gaining a lot of investors and attention as of late and what are the future potentials and speculation of this company and as always always try to give you guys the most up-to-date information that i possibly can just to make sure if you guys are going to be investing into sndl you guys have the best up-to-date information you possibly can before you do make a decision whether you guys are going to buy into this company or not if you guys do like this sort of content please make sure you guys give it a huge thumbs up and if anybody has any suggestions of what stocks i should talk about next what type of content you would like to see please comment down below i would like to see what type of suggestions you guys have so without further ado guys let's talk about cannabis let's talk about SNDL let's get on with this video so sundial growers ticker symbol SNDL right now after hours is trading at one dollar and ten cents we can see in this one trading day it dropped around 14 percent but after hours it has gained 5.77 percent this one penny stock in the you can see in the past five trading days has gained over 100%. It was trading at 52 cents just less than a week ago. Right now, the market cap is 1.4 billion. And as always, when it comes to penny stocks, the average volume is pretty important. 420 million in average volume. And as always, when it comes to penny stocks, you will get some volatility. Please make sure if you guys are gonna be investing into penny stocks like Sundial Growers, please make sure you understand the volatility that penny stocks do have. Sundial Growers is a cannabis company engaged in the production, distribution, and sale of cannabis for the medical and adult use market. If we look at their financials, the earnings per share, you know, it doesn't look too good, okay? It's pretty negative, okay? If we look at their net income, it's negative 209 million. Their total revenue is up 58.42 million, but the operating income is negative 176 million, okay? Their balance sheet, you know, it, it looks decent enough for a lot of normal people, but if we look at their financing, this company is in debt and it does need a lot of financing with, oh, right now it's at 275 million, okay? So that's pretty much Sundial Growers, okay? But as we all know, when it comes to the cannabis industry, the cannabis industry is still a growing industry. For example, in this article, global cannabis testing market was valued around 943 million in 2020, but they're predicting it globally, it could be around $1.8 billion by the end of year 2030. Michigan's recreational cannabis market is booming, okay? Michigan showed the highest growth in sales of any legal cannabis market in the U.S., posting a gain of 146% in gross. There is sustainability in the cannabis industry because they believe the cannabis industry will start to boom sooner rather than later. The cannabis industry is still a growing industry. There are not many too big cannabis companies out there, okay? When people think of cannabis companies, they're usually thinking of Aurora Cannabis, or Planet 13. Well, maybe after this video, you guys may start to start to look at Sundial Growers, ticker symbol SNDL. If we take a quick look at their website, you could look, it's just cannabis products. No fillers, no additives, no artificial flavoring. You could pick what type of experience you want when it comes to the cannabis industry, whether you want to be calm, you want to ease down, you want to flow, you want to lift, or you want a little spark. This is their main product, their Zen Berry. I don't really know too much about cannabis products because I haven't really taken any cannabis products ever, but sometimes when you look at a good company and you see the quality of their products, you get kind of interested when it comes to stocks, right? So these are the comp these are the products that they actually have. And they do have a huge plethora of different type of products, okay? Whether it's any of the five different moods you want, Okay, they have products to all over to make sure that you, the consumer, or you, the shareholder, are well informed and satisfied with their products. These are the products list. I'm not gonna go over everything, but they have vapes. They have you know pre-twist rolls. They have twists. They have a whole bunch of things that many cannabis users could rather enjoy. Okay, now there's a lot of reasons to why this company has been booming. Okay, now there is a lot of speculation and there is a lot of concerns with this company as well. Many people think this company is a gamble. Okay, why? Because the cannabis industry 
it hasn't been a solid platform yet okay there's a lot of companies that still believe that this company is heavily relying on the whole united states to legalize cannabis okay the whole legalization of marijuana in the united states okay this company is based in canada so this company is heavily relying that the united states is legalizing marijuana okay but with joe biden the presidency there's a lot of speculation that he might force the legalization of marijuana in the united states so that's why this company has been booming and that's why many people think it's a gamble because they don't know whether it will be legal or not legal okay those are the probably the major concerns that this company has right now but when it comes to major concerns there is major upsides in certain companies for example this company the reason why it has been soaring as of late is because number one to plain to tell you the plain truth number one is because of reddit okay everybody knows what's been going on with gamestop and wall street right so this company was one of the companies that was heavily shorted so reddit did play a factor into this company but not just that okay they also did start to make some moves because the stock price has been increasing they announced that they are having a hundred million dollar registered offering okay which is both good and bad in a way because when it comes to shareholder offerings yes the company is making hundred million dollars right now which is good because now they could use this money to help fund the company and help it produce and keep on moving along okay but at the same time it does dilute shareholder value okay since its first got ipo in 2016 the company has dropped in share prices dramatically it first started around 11 dollars then dropped to two then dropped below one dollar but now again as we saw it's passing a little bit over a dollar right now okay so it has been diluting shareholder value and it does have it hasn't really made profit as of late it does have a lot of debt and it and if it doesn't make any profit soon this company could really go under so this hundred million dollar offering is it's good for the company bad for the shareholders it might dilute the share prices just a little bit maybe around five ten percent you know which is you know a lot of shareholders do care about those five ten percent but at the same time we want to see a company grow so this hundred million dollars is going to be very useful for this company to make sure it stays alive okay so this company guys again it does have huge potential but it's not solely breaking off the news of the united states legalizing marijuana marijuana is still a growing industry and when it comes to cannabis companies i do kind of i will pick this company in my top three right now to be very honest with you guys okay and my top three can cannabis stocks could probably be for example planet 13 a Royal cannabis and sndl which would be this one the third one okay so we all know that planet 13 a Royal cannabis those are like the big name cannabis companies which you should also have sndl in your watch list as well okay this company has been doing the correct moves in the correct places okay 100 million dollar offerings for shareholders it could be a pretty good thing in the long term it could keep this company afloat you know just long enough to make sure it survives and start to make a profit so my stock prediction for this company guys right now to be honest with you around this price level me personally i will start to buy this company i kind of started to get into this company it was around the 80 cent mark okay so i do kind of see some growth potential into this company okay i am pretty bullish on this company even though i kind of bash it just a little bit but at the same time when it comes to companies we have to be very re realistic in our investments okay it does have its risks because it is a penny stock it is going to have volatility because it is a penny stock and it, and it doesn't have too much capital right now but that hundred million dollar offering does help this company out a lot okay and maybe just long enough for the united states to legalize marijuana fully and sndl could really start to boom especially with this growing industry okay and it's still gonna be you know selling selling marijuana cannabis products in certain type of states in michigan it is legal in some spots in the united states it is legal already okay as we all saw in michigan it's already up 146 percent and if it could keep on going up sndl and companies in the cannabis industry could really profit in certain states in the united states okay so i do see this company having a pretty good year in 2021 and it has used potential moving forward okay guys so i do hope you guys did enjoy the video if you have any sort of questions pertaining to sundial growers or sndo or the cannabis industry please make sure you comment down below i would love to have a conversation with you down in the comment section and if anybody has any additional comments please comment down below i would like to shoot shoot back and forth with ideas if anybody's interested into two free stocks with weeble i'm gonna put my weeble 
link down below and also my Robinhood link down below if anybody's interested in investing. If you make a Robinhood account using my link, you get a free stock, I get a free stock, we both be benefit. Okay guys, so I do hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you guys are up to date with SMDL and you guys got a whole bunch of information from it. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure you guys give it a huge thumbs up. If you guys wanna be part of our growing community, we have been growing our YouTube channel as of late. We are almost at 500 subs. If you guys wanna be part of our great milestone, please make sure you sub down below as well. And that's it for today guys. I do hope you guys did enjoy the video and peace out. Please be safe out there. Please wear your mask and have a great day. Till next time guys. Love. Bye.